The manufacture of medicinal products is a highly complex process. The mortar and pestle of yesterday has given way to the sophisticated processing systems used in the major pharmaceutical companies of today. Operations that were formerly under the direct control of a chemist, pharmacist, or pharmaceutical operator are now controlled by computerized systems. Because of the demand for quality products and because of the sophisticated technology used to make modern medicine, its manufacture has become tightly regulated throughout the industrial world. Complete and accurate documentation on how drugs are developed and manufactured is now a requirement. Stringent control over the method of manufacture and stringent testing of these products is continually performed to ensure that their purity, safety and effectiveness are maintained. Manufacturing controls and testing procedures are universally used to ensure that the integrity of the product has not been compromised. As consumers of drug products, how can we be assured that the medicines that we take will consistently perform as we expect they should year after year. In this video, we'll discuss the concept of validation as used within the pharmaceutical industry. We will define validation, describe the different types of validation, identify what should be validated, the importance of change control, the potential negative impact on patients if validation is not completed properly, and the adverse consequences to manufacturers who fail to abide by FDA requirements. In late 1989, in New Mexico, three patients with an unexplained illness were reported to the State Health Department. Within weeks, a nationwide outbreak of the disease eosinophilia myalgia syndrome, or EMS, was recognized. EMS is a disorder in which an allergic reaction occurs. Symptoms are muscle pain, fatigue, swelling, coughing, shortness of breath, and neurological abnormalities. By mid-1992, 38 deaths and more than 1,500 cases were reported to the U.S. Center for Disease Control. Additional cases were reported in other parts of the world. Studies were conducted that indicated that there was an association between the EMS and the use of L-tryptophan products. These products, which are generally distributed by health stores as amino acid, are sometimes recommended by doctors to enhance sleep. Following the outbreak, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration urged users of L-tryptophan products to stop taking them until further information is available. Sales were banned in several states.